Hi Bow fans, this is Tim from Bowshed Brighton. Do I look comfortable? That's because I am. I'm on board this nice 40 foot Conqueror cruiser for a look around the interior in virtual reality for you. Now we hope that this really great feature gives you an idea of how this boat might feel to be on board, how her space flows, how high things are, etc, etc, and if she might work for you. It is a virtual reality 360 degree video, so if you want to look where you like, when you like, you can do that whenever you like, you don't have to follow where I'm looking. All you need to do is click and drag the screen, or touch and drag the screen, and you can drag up, down, left or right, and look around to your heart's content. We hope you enjoy. So, shall we have a look? Well, here we are, we're in the main saloon, and what can I say? It's a, it's a grey day outside, but it's still lovely and bright in here. That's thanks to the, the big space. It's also thanks to all of the 360 degree windows we've got, which just lets light flood in. So I've got a great view of the marina and the surrounding area anywhere I sit. It's really, really nice. Uh, as it happens at the moment, I've got the starboard companionway open. There is a port companionway as well. They both slide right open. And coupled with the sunroof up here, means that on a hot day or a day when you want ventilation and even more light you can open them all up and you can let the air through and it's really really nice and fresh i really like it in here it's great um on top of that we've got some some new carpets through the boat we've got a brand new sofa here we've got new drapes we've got new curtains to be put up as well and if it is a little bit colder we've got the uh the relatively unused wood burner here too ready to go for those winter days so could be really nice and cozy in here but let's have a proper look around shall we so uh, yeah as i mentioned we've got the, the port companion way here which slides backwards and forwards we've got the wood burner we've got access to batteries here um, on the starboard side here we've got the the cupboard for your longer items of clothing or perhaps shoes we've got a nice shelf up here for your ornaments the doors close to uh, enclose the the aft cabin there which we'll go go to in a moment on the starboard side here, we've got the gas locker here too. I do think that that needs to be checked to make sure it complies though. Um, but it is a, 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 big, a big cupboard with a big gas bottle in there. Um, you probably can't see from where you are, but we do have a good smattering of 240 volt sockets everywhere. So no problems for the kids charging their iPhones, etc. Underneath this new mat here, we've got good access to the engine and the other bits and pieces that we, you would normally find in a bilge. All you need to do is pull the sofa out of the way, lift the carpet and the hatches are there. We have access to batteries here too. And underneath the camera, we've got a small cupboard which uh, has a useful shelf on top for putting things like cameras on, all good. And uh, yeah, starboard side, we've got this unit here which can be used as a sofa or a bed. Nice upholstery under there. And we've got the nice new drape on top too. Lovely, 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 great big windows everywhere. Brand new sofa, you can sleep on it or sit on it. And then just forward of that, we've got the engine controls here. So all the gauges that you need, the throttle, the electrical panel, and also the steering wheel itself. So very nice, feels very homely in here. You've got a great view of everything around you. If you want to put the curtains up, you can. And also feels slightly nautical in here as well with the, with the wheel. Very, very nice. Now, I'm going to move the camera, and as I do, um, if you feel you may be sensitive to camera movement, please avert your eyes, and then once I put the camera down, if you come back to me, we'll continue the tour. But uh, hopefully, you won't feel like that at all, but uh, just in case, please avert your eyes. So, I'm going to move the camera now, and we're going to go down three steps into the galley. So here we are. It's like a little kitchen really, which is what we all want, isn't it? So um, I didn't mention head height before actually, but through there, you may have seen there is really a lot of head height. Down here in the middle of the compartment, I'm five foot nine and uh, plenty of room there, probably about six feet for you. So the uh, the average amongst us may, are generally going to be okay. The super tall people may struggle a little bit, but there is a good height down here, which is great. So anyway, this place has been completely refitted. We've got new carpet, which carries on through to the forward cabin where we're going one moment. Uh, we've got new worktops here, we've got a new fridge underneath the uh, camera, we've got a new sink unit here, we've got new hobs here, now you do have a choice of a single induction hob or double to fit, so that will be up to you. Big cupboards underneath here for all your kitchen sort of stuff, or maybe your food, just put that back. New microwave, new kettle, we've got the water heater unit here, and underneath all of that we've got the utensils, drawer, and a couple more drawers for your pots and pans or whatever it is you want to put in there. So yeah, just feel nice down here. And of course, again, look what we've got. 
a view out of the nice big windows. We can see all our neighbours, right? And uh, even on a blowy day like this, it's just a joy to be able to be that close to nature. Really, really nice. Right, let's pick up the camera again and we'll go into the forward cabin. So please avert your eyes if you need to. And we'll move you into here and put you down in the middle of the berth. Now, as you can see, nice big berth, nice double. Finishes before the actual bow, so there's no point there where you find your your toes mingling with uh, whoever's in bed with you, if there's anyone there with you. We've got the windows port and starboard and the hatch forward, so it's light in here. It just feels like a nice space. I think, as you notice, as you as you go around the boat, you'll find parts do need finishing off, like up here, etc. But uh, that's mainly a trim job to me, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And if I open this drawer, this door here, we've got a great big wardrobe there for hanging your longer stuff like your coats and dresses, etc. Very good. And there's also a mirror on the front of it too. And there's also stowage underneath the beds as well. So, yeah, great space. Looks nice, feels nice, and I'm sure somebody will be very happy in here. Right, let's pick up the camera again. And I'm going to take you, I'm walking aft now. Close the door to the forward head. Uh, sorry, the forward cabin, and open the door to the forward head. And I will put you up there. And as you can see, this is the forward head compartment. Big, nice, wide windows, frosted for privacy. We've got a, a nice worktop here with the kitchen fit with the sink fitted into it for washing purposes. What else would it be for? Um, and we've got the cupboards underneath also. We've got the cassette type toilet down here. Plenty of room here to stand. And we've also got the shower unit here, which has got a seat on the outboard side, and obviously the drip tray down to the bottom. Does what it says on the tin, shower, toilet. Pretty straightforward. Okay, let's take the camera again, and we will go aft. So up one, two, three stairs. Just notice the views as we walk through. Feels lovely on here. And we'll now walk down into the aft cabin, and I'll put you there so that you can see the vanity unit with the window above. We've got a nice big drawer below here too. And we've got a nice big floor to ceiling cupboard here again, much like the forward cabin for your longer items of clothing. We've got 240 volt socket here and we've got new carpet down here too. You'll notice also on the outboard side, we've got a double bed unit too. And we've got a nice twin drawer unit here too for, for your bits and pieces. So again, nice and airy, plenty of room. Plenty of standing headroom, windows all the way around. Doesn't feel cramped. It doesn't feel like you're stuck in a, in a small boat or anything. It's just a nice place to be, I think. So let's, um, I'll open the door to the after head and I'll just take you for a quick look in there. I'm not going to put you down for this one. There we go, after head, um, there's a toilet in here or a head. There's a shower unit in here and there's a nice window as well to let the light flood in. Frosted for privacy. Not much more I can say about that. It is what it says on the tin. Great stuff. So, let's now go back into the saloon. I'll put you down on the berth sofa there for now, where we'll sum up. So, this has been Tim from Boatshed Brighton. I've been showing you around and reviewing the interior of this 40-foot Commodore Cruiser. It used to be a river cruiser. As you now know we've got this lovely interior windows everywhere you can see all around you whatever the weather we've got a nice new fitted galley down below we've got the nice forward cabin down there with a the double berth in it plenty of room and cupboards we've got the forward head there with the shower in it and then if we walk aft down into the after cabin we've got the double berth there and we've got the vanity unit nice cupboard and also the the after head as well so if you like her or if you're interested in seeing her, or if you think she may be the one for you, just go to BoatShowBrighton.com for lots more pictures, videos, and more virtual reality photos. We hope you've enjoyed the video. We hope you've um, enjoyed finding out about how the space works. If you don't want to buy this boat, we hope you just enjoyed looking around the inside of a, of a boat with me, because that's what it's all about. Anyway, hopefully catch you soon. Enjoy the rest of your day.